What's going on everyone? I'm Danny Rodriguez. It's time to review DC's Legends of Tomorrow, Season 1, Episode 5, titled Failsafe. This is a spoiler review. Make sure you have seen the episode. It should take me less than two minutes to recap the episode, give you the pros, cons, and final score. Thanks again for joining me. If you're new to the channel, I review shows like Arrow, Walking Dead, X-Files, Flash, much, much more. Man, check out the channel. I do weekly reviews, man. Recently just did the Deadpool reviews, the letter 2, How to Be Single, all non-spoiler reviews as well, upcoming Witch, Eddie the Eagle, Risen, Race, Triple Nine, Gods of Egypt, much, much more coming. Weekly movie reviews, man, all the time. New movies. Check out the channel if you, uh, if you, if you feel like it, you feel like it deserves a little look at, a little checkup, yeah, go ahead. So, here we go, Legends of Tomorrow, man. First off, Ray and Mick are in prison, of course, and the Gulag, yeah, it is. So anyway, Rip and Snart, or Cold, Captain Cold, they, uh, you know, working, and Sarah gets info, you know, they're trying to get into where, because Ray and Mick, of course, they're like cell buddies and everything, and, you know, Snart is like, they're trying to figure a way to do a prison break, they're trying to get Ray and Mick out, this isn't my first prison break. Ha ha, humor, prison break, yeah. Nah, that was really good. That's a good nod right there, man. Of course, the multiverse. Snart in prison, prison break. Very nice. So anyway, there's this fight going on, man, where Sarah's get, or Sarah is getting info. Uh, where they're in the they're in the heat. They're like in the steam room or whatever, and the mob guy, they're getting info. So Sarah may have to kill Stein. Basically, Rip's like, you may have to kill Stein, you know. Uh, in order to fix the timeline or whatever, if they end up getting their hands on what, you know, they want from Stein. Ray's beat up bad, man. Ray and Mick are tortured in front of Stein. Jax is coming for uh, Stein as well. He wrote, like, I'm coming, and of course it shows on his skin. So, the world in 2003 is destroyed by a bunch of firestorms. It basically shows the future. This is how the world will look if Stein ends up getting, you know, this is the timeline right now. We have to fix it. So, of course, Stein agrees to talk, and Snart is in disguise. So, he ends up saving Mick. Ray is left there with his suit, almost like Ant-Man style, where the ants bring him the suit. He has his little mini action figure. And the girl, uh, gr this girl, this uh, the girl that, you know, they were flirting with last episode, she is all evil and everything, and she, know well, she now touches the radiation ball she wants to turn into Firestorm because she knows Stein is one half of Firestorm. So she merges with him. They end up like becoming like this big Firestorm and it's a big old fight, man. The people are escaping the prison gulag and everything. So they end up saving Stein. The girl has a meltdown, man. Jax ends up, you know, tackling people. He merges, uh, or no, he ends up like, Stein, I know you could do this, man. You just got to defeat her, all right? And the mind, and then the girl ended up like exploding and, you know, Stein's like, Jefferson, we must go. <laughs> so that happens as well. So the meltdown, Rip explodes Savage because Rip ends up seeing Savage in this room. Ah, uh, I remember you and your family. I will see them soon. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, the, you know, like, all right, mate, I'll see you later. You know, maybe down the road, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see each other again. Explosion. Savage is gone. He's immortal, though. So anyway, they escape. Kronos attacks, and they crash land in 2046. Uh, so Connor Hawk is there, of course, man. Connor Hawk, uh, the new Green Arrow of the 2046 time, man. What a way to uh, end an episode, man, because definitely tonight's episode is where old Oliver Queen comes out, man, and you have Deathstroke over there. Oliver Queen, right here, right now. WWE ring match, J. Ross on the side, or JR, man. Good old JR, Jerry the King Lawler, Michael Cole, JBL. Woo. 
Good time, man. So overall, what did I think about this episode, man? The Legends of Tomorrow fell safe. First off, the pros. Ah, yes, yes. Cisco showed up in the beginning, man. Cisco, of course, Stein was having this dream and everything, or this hallucination that was going on in the mind, of course. And Cisco, uh, Cisco Ramon was there, man. That was really awesome, really cool cameo. The effects as well, like I always say, the effects, practical and CGI effects in here are always awesome, man. Love the effects. For the TV. Uh, Stein, Victor Garber, fantastic actor, always doing an amazing job in his character, man. Very much love for him, man. The action and the fighting, the choreography, that big courtyard fight scene was fantastic. Very beautiful, love the effects, like I said. And then again, just the action, very entertaining, very fun, very popcorn y. The ending of the episode, man, ending in 2046 and seeing Connor Hawk. Wow, that was an awesome ending, man. Definitely got you excited, got the blood pumping, like I can't wait. Seven more days, seven more days. Well, by the time you're watching this episode, already aired. So we get to see Oliver Queen with his goatee and everything, you know. Oliver Queen is dead, dead, dead. So Ray, man, awesome. Like, definitely Ray trying to stand up for that guy in the prison. I mean, again, Brandon Ralph, man, very fantastic character. Love, love Ray Palmer, man. And uh, he's just, you know, he's trying to stand up, and he ends up beating up and swollen and everything, and... You know, he's, he's he's a good guy, man. He's trying to stand up for what he believes. Always got to be a hero. But, you know, he works at it, man. The future of the Firestorms, man, in 2003. I like the concept of how they're trying to build these Firestorms. And that's how the world would end. All that sort of thing. So I really, really like that whole, like, scenario there. But they ended up fixing it. She didn't have to kill Stein, all that stuff. So pretty cool, man. The only cons about this episode, man, the girl that ended up merging with Stein and she was like, yeah. Power, the power. I didn't care for her whatsoever this episode. She was really annoying where I was like, when I when she was like, ah, yes, the ball. Yeah. I wanted her to be like Indiana Jones, like sort of like, ah, melting and everything. I thought that would be cool. But, you know, she ended up merging with fire. Like, eh, you know what I mean? Like, she was so annoying where you're just like, you're happy she died and exploded, but you're just like, ugh, like, oh, very annoyed but while watching her, like, you're, you're Firestorm. I'm going to merge with you. And then she ends up merging. And she, like, it's just, it's, you know, it was annoying. The pacing of the episode was a little off, man. They, definitely it went from slow to fast to slow to, you know, it, you know, it just didn't really interest you at times, man. Or for me, it didn't really interest me at times in certain scenes. Uh, Rip always never does anything to Savage. That's true, man. Rip always hesitates. Like, he could have, well, he couldn't have killed Savage there. But, you know, like... All he does is basically, like, he, he gets his heart back with the, the family in there. But, you know what I mean? Like, he never ends up doing, like, he just blew him up. Like, you could have shot him in the head or you could have done something or, you know, I know that wouldn't have done much, but you could have at least done that. You know, it's always just something, man. Rip, you know, because Savage is all talk when you think about it. Vandal Savage is not, he, he's an okay villain. All he does is basically, like, Ah, yes, I remember you. Yes. How about we finish this right here, right now? Oh, gotta go. See you in five years. Ah, have I met you before? Ah, yes, I remember. Oh, let's fight. Gotta go. Oh, you shot me. I'm dead. Twenty years later. I remember you. Like, it's just... Very the same thing, repetitive sort of thing. And it just never really... I mean, we're only four episodes in, but mind you. Five episodes in, just mind you that. So overall, I'm going to end up giving this episode, man, a solid B fell safe, man. Good episode. Again, it's not a great episode, just like the past episodes. It's just a good episode. That's it, man. That's my bad and verdict. That's all I'm going to stop at right there. So comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this Legends of Tomorrow episode. You want to support the channel, man, hit that subscribe button. Really would appreciate that. Anyway, see you guys for the next one, man. 2046, Oliver Queen. I am ready. You got to get that Deathstroke mask. Where is it? No. Where is it? Here it is. Yes. Oliver Queen. You and me in the ring. Now. Anyway. John Cena. Till next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>